everybody, this is Nadia Rowe here and as you can see I'm bringing to you a Lush haul. So, let's dive in. Now I've already pre-recorded this so there is nothing in this bag because I've had to put it to one side to re-wrap. So, these aren't things that I've brought. I could show you the receipt if you want. These are what I've just recently brought. Um, but obviously I can't show you it because it's basically got quite the details on so if you want to see I'm gonna to have to be really quick so so yeah um just to let them realize I'd left the telly on so I've had to re-record it so really sorry um so first of all I'm going to say that I I'm just going to pick, pick the first one out of the pile this one this is something that I can't remember what it's called it's not on the label and it smells of lemons because I've already opened it and basically the lady in the shop said to me I'm going to remember what I said in the previous one the lady said to me that once you've put used it and you start rubbing it on your skin it's got like an exfoliator in it which is what I want because you know when I don't know if people have felt like this but I have when I've been in the shower or a bath I don't have a shit bath by the way so you'll be really disappointed with if you're expecting uh, bath bombs because I, I really can't um, I buy them on the occasion for my daughter that lives at home but or my daughter that lives the um, not, uh, not at home and I will give them as presents but otherwise I don't buy bath bombs so anyway down to this bar um so i was like a bit skeptical so she was like do you want to go over to the sink and try it and do you know what as in love as soon as soon and she, I, I, she, it doesn't give me a name on it which i'm a bit disappointed because they're normally pretty good on that um but i think it's got figs in i'm not too sure but i'm trying to give you an all over angle but it's got something in it that when you wet it and rub it on you, it exfoliates. And I hate when you get out of the shower and you've got, you, you're you really vigorously rubbing yourself. Not that really, really vigorously rubbing yourself because I suffer with that in my old job. But you end up with like skin where you haven't quite caught it with shower gel. So with this... It exfoliates me, so I haven't got to worry about rubbing and rubbing to get the dead skin off. Because that's all it is when you go out of the shower, just dead skin washing away. But you are not using exfoliator, so it's just come away naturally. So that's why I love this, these kinds of soaps. I have got the uh, Rough and the Smooth, and I wouldn't recommend it. It's not for me. I've tried it, I've got it, I'm not going to say, I've, I wouldn't take it back because there's physically nothing wrong with it apart from every time you use the full bar, you end up breaking a bit off every time you, because it's quite soft as well, um, but it is really rough, um, I have to do it on a really, on a day that's not as sensitive for my fibromyalgia, um, I can't use it on an everyday scale. So, I'm hoping this will be the everyday scale that I need. So, anyway, that's enough about me and my illnesses. So then, uh, the reason I did originally go into a Lush is because I wanted... I'd got some samples and basically, um, I eventually worked out that one of the samples that I'd used on my body, which was really, really good, by the way, um, was actually a face soap. <laughs> and I was like, but it was so, so good on my body so I went into the shop told the woman and she was like well to be honest it doesn't really matter where you use the soaps so it doesn't look the nicest thing me and, me and my friend was laughing at it it's the most ugliest thing but it's the nicest and this is what it looks like it looks like brown bread with all them sorum bisque uh, loaves that you can get, if you can imagine. 
with this I'd cut it in half because it does fit I can imagine trying to wash your entire face and I have found that if you put rub this on your face to get it going rather than in your hands you're actually getting like the exfoliating bit if you put it just straight onto your hands you don't get as much exfoliation you still get some so I find that way works brilliant so I'm really sorry about the terrible lighting it's about 7 o'clock in my off and I've only just woke up so because I suffer with chronic fatigue as well so that's my life the next one that I had a sample of was the porridge soap now everybody's got to have heard this it's one of the best sellers that I think and it, I had a sample it must have been about this big I must have got about 10 washes out of it before it became because it was originally square so if you imagine a square piece small square piece um, this is brilliant for exfoliating especially on the days that you just want a soft gentle exfoliation it is lovely really really lovely and creamy so that when you've finished showering you're left with like an oil on your skin because I've been touching it I've got oily fingers and it is so nice and smoothing and soft and don't smell nice but I would definitely say yeah go with that so then I also I've been seeing this quite a few times in the shop I'm like that looks amazing don't it I'm like what is it she was like it's called did you take the wrapper off it oh I've actually got the original really see it on the wrapper I wonder if it tells me Um. yeah this is the maypole and do you know what it smells like it smells like mm. stick rock I mean a stick rock it's minty it's like the purple stick rock that you get on holiday it is that and again I tried this at the sink I've tried them all at the sink um, apart from the face one because I know about the face one um, and um, I found the name of the square one and this is called sand sand stone soap so this is what I said it has actually got that bit of grit in it so so anyway, while I was talking, I said, oh, do you mind if you cut a piece of this purple one off? And she was like, yeah, sure. I said, I just want to give it a try, see how, see how it is. And man, was I impressed. It is so oily. It's one of them that after using something so harsh, even if it's as harsh as the sandstone, which I don't imagine it wasn't as harsh, that harsh, this on top of it, oh, it just made me feel gorgeous. And that was just my one harm. I just felt so, oh. So anyway, she was like, because this is a cut off and because this isn't a size that we can sell. And I had spoken to her about my daughter's bath bomb. Just in general conversation about how it hadn't worked. But it's not like we could bring it back to show you that it hadn't worked and blah, blah, blah. She was like, you must have had just something in there. So she was like, well, I can't, we can't generally sell these because it's not. Because I did say to her, save it and I would buy it. And she was like, no, you might as well have it for free. So I got a free bar of soup. So, which are what, you know, it smells of. Can't smell it. It smells weird. It smells like putty, but with a scent. It's not like lilac, which you think. It's just really nice. So, so that was really nice of the girl. She didn't have to give me anything. She just did. So, you know. And that's what I like about Lush. If anything you buy, you have a reaction to, you don't actually physically like, you can take it back. They Generally, they will give you the money right back. 
if you take the receipt in. If not, you have to have goods. But you don't get that in a soap shop where you've used it. And you can use, if you say you've brought a bottle of shampoo, uh, shower gel or shampoo, you've used that much out of it. Because they don't expect you to use it once and find you don't like it. You use it once or twice and then you don't like it. Then, because you always put it down to something else, don't you? But they will take it back. Because what they do is then use them as um, testers for people. So, I'm happy. So, thank you very much, Lush. No, I'm not affiliated with Lush. So, I wish I was. So, um, then you also got, there is two bars there, um, one has the masks on, the face masks, and one has, has these kind of, it, it is soap, but it's more of a, I don't know, I just love the popcorn one, I'm sorry, it's absolutely gorgeous, I could use it to death. Um, so anyway, so I asked for some samples of the things that I've not tried before and she was like yeah some com some of the company companies will give you three but because it's not the busiest time they get me gave me four because at Christmas it was only two or three were allowed um, and this is how I make my decision on whether or not to buy it that's how I decided to buy the popcorn because they gave me one of these um obviously I haven't tried these yet so but these are full and I mean full so you get two to three because obviously it's that thing isn't it you buy face masks first time you try it if it's only got one try on it how do you know if you like it or not you know I have done an empties one where I hated the Maluka only one and everybody raves about it and I'd bought two and I really wished no I don't actually because it was absolutely disgusting um, I could have kept it and used the other one but I just really hated it whereas with Lush they'd have, unless it wasn't in the sample if I'd have just gone out and bought the Maluka on there not that they have Maluka on there I'm just saying um, in a tub and I didn't like it at all in the first instance they would take it back and that's how good Lush are so you know to be to be really honest they are so such a very 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 good customs um, for everybody so I know my daughter went in there to take something back that I didn't like and they were like, oh, so what do you what do you like now? And she was like, I hate that Rockstar soap. And I, yeah, no, this is, there is a reason behind this. Please just listen. <laughs> Before you all it, go, yeah, I hate this. She's allergic to it. And basically it brought her out in a big rash. So I ended up using it because I'm not allergic to a lot of things. I am finding out the more that I use, there are certain things that I'm becoming allergic to. But... On the whole, I can get away with her a hell of a lot more than she can. And um, she was like, we'll go and have a look what's in Rockstar and have a look at what's in some other ones to see if they're the same. And then Ellie sort of... I was, and my daughter's named Daniela Barcola, I right? sort of looking at her bewildered as if to go, well, why do we need to? I just want to exchange this. Um, and then... They worked out that there's a specific ingredient that's in a lot of their soaps um, and a lot that's not in their soaps, so it's like equal. And she went, because you had such a bad experience, you can have this for free. And she's like, oh, all right, I'm bringing stuff back because my mum do not like it and I get a bar of soap for free. You can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong. So... I think that's about it. That's the end of my rumble anyway. Um, my ears are messed. But anyway. Um, if you enjoy this video and if you'd like to hit subscribe, then please do. Uh, I'll tell you to just come on, solve it. I'm going to have to. Yeah. 
if you enjoyed this video please hit subscribe if you like this video please hit the thumbs up if you want to leave a comment uh, about Lush about anything that you'd like to see of, see of mine then obviously I can see what I can do um, so yeah thank you everybody for watching I'll see you in the next video